Hey, so I had the opportunity to get outside today. Uh, it was nice and warm, and, and I got a chance to cut my grass, which I haven't cut in probably three or four weeks. And, uh, and you know, it was all kinds of different reasons why I didn't cut the grass. There was lots of rain there for a while, and I'm um, working, and then church, and then I was coaching soccer, and there were sporting events to go to, Phillies, right? And, and all of these things were taking up my time, and I never got a chance to get the grass cut. So uh, this afternoon, I go outside, and I'm like, man, it looks like the Adams Family grass out here, right? This, it's all different shapes and sizes and colors, and I'm like, okay, let's get this baby cut. So I cut the grass, and um, as I got done, I put everything away, and a, a lady from our neighborhood pulled up in front of the house. She got out, and she looked at me, and she goes, your grass looks really nice. And I said, well, thank you. And I'm like, okay, I wonder if she's been secretly hoping I would cut the grass for a while, right? And here's what I started to think about as I looked at that grass. Our lives can look like the Adams Family grass at times, right? We get so caught up in running around and doing our jobs and going to church and coaching and going to band practice or sporting events and all of this stuff, and we neglect to take care of our faith. We neglect to draw close to God. We start to get so running around that we don't have devotions. We don't spend time reading the Bible. We don't spend time in prayer. You know, uh, things come up on Sunday mornings and we might not get to church for fellowship and worship. And, and we start to just kind of let that part of our life, our faith, kind of just ebb away. Right, It just kind of starts to fade away until one day we realize that, well, our lives don't exactly look like Jesus anymore. It looks like the Adams family. And we need to be aware of that, right? We need to make sure that we're taking care of our spiritual life as much as we are our physical or mental or emotional life. We need to make sure that we're drawing close to God because when we do that, God draws close to us because he never goes away from us, right? Sometimes we think, well, I've gone so far, I can never get back to God. I can, I'm just a bag of business. I, I am so messed up that God could never accept me back. And then all we really need to do is just turn around because God is right there. He's never let us walk away. We think we're walking away from God. We think we've gone miles away, right? And God will never be able to find us again. And when we turn around... Hey, how you doing, Joe? It's so good to see you. I've been here the whole time. I've just been waiting for you to come back. So as we go through these days, may we pay attention to our faith walk as much as we do our physical walk. May God continue to take care of you, each and every one of you. Pour out his blessings, grace, and mercy until we get to meet again. Amen? Amen.